Hi, my name is Ronnie Foss. I'm a professor of medicine at University of Arizona. I'm also the chief of gastroenterology at Southern Arizona VA Healthcare System in Tucson, Arizona. Today I will discuss an article that is published in the journal Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. The article entitled Maintenance of Heartburn Relief Following Step Down from Twice Daily Proton Pump Inhibitor to Once Daily Dexlan Soprazole MR. The background for this study is the fact that the most common patients with gastroesophageal reflux disease that we see in our practice today are those that fail PPI treatment. As a result, many of these patients are on more than once daily PPI. Unfortunately, research that attempted to develop new products for patients who fail PPI treatment did not meet great success. Consequently, we attempted in this study to evaluate the value of Dexlan Soprazole 30 milligram once daily given to patients who required at least twice daily PPI in a split dose to control their symptoms. In this study, we recruited 178 patients. All of them had to demonstrate that they require at least twice daily PPI to control their symptoms. The PPI was given half an hour before breakfast and half an hour before dinner, and there was no specific brand of PPI that was required for enrollment into the current study. At the end, only 142 patients were available for efficacy analysis. All these patients went through a baseline period where they had to demonstrate that twice daily PPI fully controlled their symptoms. Subsequently, patients received Dexlan Soprazole 30 milligram in the morning and placebo in the evening. These drugs were concealed so patients could not know which one was the medication and which one was the placebo. Patient, patients received the medications for a period of six weeks. During that period of time, patients filled an electronic diary twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Assessment of symptom severity in this study was done using puggy sim questionnaire, and assessment of quality of life at the end of the study was done with the puggy call questionnaire. The results of the study demonstrated that we were able to step down 88% of, of the patients that required twice daily PPI to once daily Dexlan Soprazole 30 milligram. We were also able to show that all these patients were able to maintain the same symptom control as they did on twice daily PPI. And they were also able to maintain the same quality of life. There were no specific complications reported during this study. Now what are the clinical implications of such a study? Well, first of all, we were able to show that we can maintain patients that require twice daily PPI on once daily Dexlan Soprazole 30 milligram. There are many studies demonstrating that compliance is an important factor in patients who fail PPI more than once a day. There is sufficient evidence to demonstrate that patients that require more than once a day PPI have 30% decrease in their compliance. By being able to maintain these patients symptom control on one's daily PPI, we can clearly improve their compliance. Furthermore, 
Patients that require long-term treatment with more than once a day PPI are at increased risk of developing a variety of long-term complications of chronic PPI treatment. They include osteoporosis, wrist, spine fractures, nosocomial pneumonia, enteric, non-enteric infections, mineral, vitamin deficiencies, as well as others. By reducing the number of PPIs that patients have to take on a regular basis in order to control their symptoms, one may reduce the risk of these patients in developing these chronic complications. So in summary, in this study that, he, that enrolled patients who required twice daily PPI to control their GERD-related symptoms, we were able to demonstrate that we can step down 88% of these patients to once daily Dexlan Soprazole 30 milligram. By doing that, we are able to improve patients' compliance with their anti-reflux treatment, and potentially, we may reduce the risk of chronic PPI treatment in this patient population. Thank you.